Hi guys, okay, two years later we have Todd here back in front of the camera. A couple years ago we made a video that talked about how to pump down a mini split to get the refrigerant back into the outdoor unit. And some of you had multi or have multi-split units want to know how you do this on a multi-split unit. So Todd will go over that. So Todd, first of all, why would you want to do this? Well, in case you need to move the outdoor unit. You need to store the refrigerant into the outdoor unit like it came from the factory and then you can move it and then go through your process of pressure testing and evacuating and then eventually releasing the refrigerant again. But on the, the, the fear of pumping it down on a multi-split is really not as difficult as you think. Because you, you have, as you can see right here, this one has up to three zones. Okay, as long as whatever zones are hooked up are calling for cooling, the valves are open. And you can just do the exact same thing you did on a single system. Close the liquid lines, wait for it to pump down to zero, close the suction lines, turn it off. And it's okay, a three dollar so, so all the zones are in all tight and cooling when you begin. That's right. There's there's solenoid valves that open them up when they're running and cooling on the, the discharge side. And on the suction side, they're all tied together. So you, I put two gauges on here so you can see the two zones, and you'll see when I close the valves, the pressures will stay the same, pretty much the same, all the way down. Okay, we'll take a look at that. And these are the two units we're going to be, be pumping down. So you, we have them both set in cooling, 63 degrees and 66 degrees. So, yes, make sure they're in cooling. And do your stuff, Todd. All right. Liquid blending. So you're closing it, it doesn't matter, right? Because you're closing B before A. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't you're going to close the liquid lines, and then these are your suction lines that you'll close when, the, <laughs> when it pumps down to zero. You hear dropping. This is a two-ton unit, so it's going to take a little bit longer than the one-ton units. And as it gets closer to zero, start closing the valves. That way uh, you don't have to turn them so far. See how they're staying pretty much the same? Pressure right. wise. Yeah. So if you had a leak in one of these lines, would you be getting air in right now? Or no, not? no. You wouldn't pull it. If you had, well, first of all, if you had a leak, you wouldn't have any refrigerant. But if uh, you have to put a negative on these line sets to be able to pull anything in them, once they're at zero, there's it's, it's no way to pull anything in it. It takes vacuum to pull. All right, we get down below 50. So what I do is I start closing the valves a little bit when I get close. That way I don't have to turn them so far and have a means of shutting the unit off as you get real close. Doing it. In other words, you really only need a, a, a hose hooked or gauges hooked up on this one port right here because you see they're they're pretty much the same. Right, so if you only have, you don't have one of these fancy field piece right. gauges, your normal gauge will work off of one, one line because they're yep. pretty much the same. Okay. And this would work, does a three, five, whatever number of zones, as long as they're all in cooling. And if you don't have one zone like this, that's obviously not an issue because that's nope. just closed, yep. inherently closed. So we're down at five. Zero. Zero, and now we're going to turn off the... You don't want to let this run too long because uh, that's going to be straining the compressor. So now both of these units have been turned off. And, um, and you'll see there's a little bit of residual pressure that comes up. There may be a little bit of refrigerant in there, but not enough to worry about. Okay. All closed, just like it came from the factory. Wonderful. So now you can move the unit, you can release the refrigerant later, and you can also, when you move it, you can suck down the vacuum out these lines again, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what you should do. Um, one more uh, point here. These service valve caps, you really should tighten them, but not like, you know, 100 foot pounds of torque, just snug okay. after, after you're done, because they will leak if you don't have those caps on. Okay. And any questions, comments, put them in the, after this video, any thumbs up, give us that. 
any, oh, we're, by the way, Air School, we do solar power hybrid multi-splits. And you'll see we have, if you ever did want to move the unit, these are valves right here. They're twist to connect. So right now we could disconnect these valves, move this unit anywhere we wanted, also take these indoor units, move them any, to any other room you want to do, and then we'll be back in action. So very simple for the air school unit. And subscribe to the Air School channel if you want to talk about air conditioning or solar or solar powered air conditioning. Thanks for your time. Bye bye.